Listen to Whoopi Goldberg here complain to Jim Gaffigan that a movie he was in, not even a movie he created, just a movie he was in, did, had too many white people. It's a great it's a part. big part. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. You have no idea the amount of people that come here that want to be on Sister Act 3. <laughs> Keep asking her every time, yeah. Well, but, I noticed there was nothing, nothing darker than y'all in that movie. <laughs> Weren't we there? <laughs> Jerry! Oh! Jerry! <laughs> None of us? <laughs> there was a few okay. in a dance scene. Yeah. Well, right. Sarah Cooper, Cedric the Entertainer. I didn't see Oh, yeah, that. Cedric, Cedric was there. Cedric. 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 I'm, I'm sorry, Seti, I missed it. I take everything yeah. You know yeah. Seti? He introduced, yeah. he introduced a, 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 an award ceremony. People like Whoopi Goldberg here, and this kind of reminds me of that Don Lemon interview when he's trying to convince Elon that Twitter needs more moderation. I see so, that. Don, you love censorship, is what you're saying? No, I don't love censorship. Then why, why are you asking? I believe in moderation, but I, I don't believe in censorship. Is a, it's a, Moderation is a propaganda word for censorship. You, you can find, like, at, at, you can sign up right now and, and, and... It also reminds me of how the Prime Minister of Canada right now, Justin Trudeau, is trying to get his political opponent, his main political opponent right now, Pierre Polyev, to publicly disavow in this big grand gesture that the fact that Alex Jones said on Twitter or X that he likes or supports Pierre Polyev. Also, when he refuses to condemn and reject the endorsement of Alex Jones. These people miss cancel culture. They miss when this stuff mattered. They could just point to Jim Gaffigan, who's not even the person that made the movie. Hey, Jim, there's not enough people, people of color in this movie. What's going on here? Then he has to sit there and be like, oh, Sarah Cooper, like, defend this stuff. I really think there's a large group of people that miss the peak woke of 2020 where they could just throw out some lazy thing like this and then get people to dance and try to like manipulate themselves into their little worldview or they're risking looking stupid or being canceled. So Whippy Goldberg just throws this out there like, hey, by the way, not enough people of color in the movie that you were in. Then he's immediately so defensive. In 2021, he would have had to probably like panic and just quit the movie or something. Like maybe not quite that much, but he would have to do something even still here, like, it's pretty uncomfortable. He didn't, he's not the one that built the movie. And then why are you sitting there being like everything that comes out? Is there enough black people? Is there enough brown people in this? Can we get past this? This is so ridiculous. This would be Goldberg also brought to mind um, something that Bill Maher said about how nobody gets canceled for being too woke. The problem is that nobody ever gets canceled for being too woke. Mm. So you can say the craziest thing, like men can have babies, mm. and then nobody will, even though people are thinking, well, that's kind of nuts, nobody will say it. They'll just fall in line. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I've always thought, men can have babies, <laughs> sure. Perhaps that's been a little bit challenged because I don't know if Don Lemon was necessarily woke, the reason he got canceled, but he did lose that contract that he supposedly had with X because of that interview with Elon. And Don Lemon also did get like a ton of negative comments in the comment section after he released that video. But it's mostly true. Like you can just sit on this public show, The View, be as woke as you want, even incorrect. She wasn't even right. She didn't even like do the amount of homework it would have take, took to look up 20 members of a cast. Jim Gaffigan's immediately like, actually said it the entertainer, Sarah Cooper, and then Whoopi Goldberg's like, oh, whoops. But there's no real negative consequence to just be really woke and who cares? It's not true on the other side. On the other side of that, if you say something insensitive, especially on a show like The View or some big cable show, that could potentially be bad for you in your career. If you said some stupid joke that was perceived as problematic or whatever. So in closing, I'll say, I think these comments by Whoopi Goldberg when... Who's the victim in this? And what are you really trying to prove when you think that a movie should be 18% African-American and it's only 10% African-American or something? What's the point? And I know the anti-woke thing has, there's been a lot of content, a lot of videos and a lot of kind of discussions, probably getting a little bit cringe. People being like outraged about the woke stuff. But I still think it's worth it to keep bringing it up because I think the reason it happened in the first place is because everyone walked on eggshells too much. So... I still think there's a whole bunch of wokeness in the world that should be called out and we should just get back to doing things based on merit and just doing things because of the right thing and still being a good person, but not being obsessed with this like woke mind virus as they call it. So 
With that said, thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.